So in the last video, we demonstrated that we could create different bars based on our health bar and that we can increase and decrease the value of them. In this video, we will be adding the functionality so that we can actually change color on the bar depending on the value that it's monitoring. So to do so, we'll have to open up our bar script and we'll have to make two new fields. We need to make a field for each color. So we have a full color and a low color. So when he has full health or whatever, it shows the first color. And when it's low, it, it slows, shows that color. And in between, we'll lurk between the two of them. So we make a private color called full color and a private color called low color. These two colors need to be serialized. So we're simply going to serialize these two fields and then we're going to save. When you've done that, you will have to go back to Unity and you can select your shield bar, for example. And here you'll see there are two colors, a full color and a low color. The full color for my shield bar will be the green color. So let's just select the green one and go somewhere here, I guess here. And the low color will be red. But uh, if you look at it, you'll see that it's totally dark in the bottom here. That's because it doesn't have an alpha value. So to get an alpha value, I have to turn it up to 255 so that we can actually see the color here. The low color will need to be set as well. Um, so if I select the red one, like so, and set the alpha value to 255. Remember, if you don't set the alpha value, the, the bar will be see-through. So now we have set up our two colors. The next thing we are going to do is to use the colors for something. So we need to use them. Let's go down here and say content.color equals color dot lerp low color to full color. And we're going to use our fill amount to lerp these. Um, because it's not over time, it's it's a set value. So the fill amount is from zero to one, and we're simply going to use that to lerp our colors. But right now it's going to lerp all of our colors. So if we save this and play the game right now, you'll see that the two top ones will go black or they will disappear because we can't see them. So if we reduce this one, it will change color to red, as you can see here. And it will increase the color again when I go up as you can see, but these two are wrong because I haven't set any color for them. And I would like to be able to decide which bars should be using this color changing um, ability. So basically we need to make a bool, make a private bool called lerp colors. Oh, lerp like so, and write it as a serialized field like this. And when the field is serialized, we can go down to start. Let's make a start function called if lerp colors. Then we say content dot color equals full color. So that it starts with the correct, uh, not collider, but color. It starts with the correct color, no matter what. And then down here, we can have an if statement that says if our lerp color is true lerp colors, we use this. So we are only going to lerp the colors if lerp color is true. So if we save now and go back here, these two up here will be visible and the lerping works down here on the color. Oh, I've forgotten to set it. So select the shield bar, find the little tick button here for lerp colors, set it and then play the game. And then you'll see that it works on the shield now, this, this color changing depending on the value it has. Yes. So there you have it. That's how you can create some different bars. Please don't forget to let me know if you want anything added to this tutorial. Maybe you want to see how to create an XP bar, XP bar or something else. Um, maybe you think there was something I forgot to Im implement here that you would really like to see in it, um, because then I'll for sure add it to the tutorial if it's something very relevant. Um, also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it. Um, if you like my tutorial, then please consider subscribing to me or uh, supporting me on uh, Patreon, for example. If you support me on Patreon, you can get all my projects that I've ever made for this channel. 
Uh, or you can also support me by getting one of my projects as a standalone package. Uh, you can get that in the bottom link on the screen right here. Again, thank you very much for watching this series and don't forget to, uh, to uh, leave a comment if you have any questions.